If you saw this question on the ASVAB, could you answer it? Well, hopefully you could because this is basic math. And let's talk about how to do this with and without a calculator. All right, so 80% of 3 fourths. So how would you do this if you had a calculator? Well, hopefully you remember to convert your uh, percent into a decimal. So 80% is the same thing as 0.80. Now, how do we go from a percentage to a decimal? Well, basically, you divide that percent by 100. But effectively, what most people do is they move the decimal point over two places to the left. So 80% is the same thing as 80.0%. So you're simply going to move the decimal point over two places to the left. All right, so now we have 0 0.80, and we're going to multiply that by 3 fourths. So if you want to kind of follow along and get your calculator out, I'll do it myself. So 3 fourths or 3 divided by 4 in your calculator is 0.75. And then, of course, that will be multiplied by 0.8, giving us an answer of 0.6. All right, so this is how you do this with a calculator. All right, so the correct answer here is 0.6, but let's see how to do this without the aid of a calculator. All right, so what we're going to do is change our percentage into a fraction. So remember, to change a percent into a decimal, you divide by 100. Well, we could do the same thing here. So 80% is the same thing as the fraction 80 over 100. Now we can reduce this down to 8 over 10, or 2 goes into 8, 4, and 2 goes into 10, 5. All right, so 80% effectively is the same thing as the fraction 4 fifths. So we're going to take that, and now we're going to multiply it by 3 fourths. All right, so 4 fifths times 3 fourths is equal to what? Well, we're going to cross cancel the fours, and we're going to end up with 3 over 5. And 3 fifths is equivalent to the decimal point six.